Hi y'all, welcome back to the Sewing Corner. Um, today we're going to be doing our next block of the Farm Girl Vintage book. And today I picked out to do the one called the Furrows block. Um, this one is, is actually pretty simple to do. This is my sample just to make sure I knew what I was doing before I did this tutorial. Um, so, you know, you get your pieces cut out. Um, the instructions are in the book. And then um, I will show them, show you how to put them together. Okay, so the first thing we start with are 16 squares cut in the background color of your choice. And I have chosen white for mine. And then you need eight rectangles and, um, you know, different, different fabrics. I've got, you know, red, blue, purple, yellow, you know, just all, all sorts of um, scrappy pieces that I've got. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is going to take one of our squares and one of our rectangles, and we're going to match them up at the end. And then we're going to stitch corner to corner on the white square. And then we'll trim off the excess. So I'll do that and then I'll show you what to do with the other side. Okay, so I stitched that one square and then I cut off the excess. So when you open it up, it looks like that. Now you're going to take a second square and do the same thing but stitch the opposite direction, okay? Because you want to make a triangle with your color piece, okay? So we'll do that and trim it and be right back. Okay, so we've got this stitched on just like that. And with the second one, you're going to overlap the corner of the first one a little bit, but that's, that's normal because that quarter inch right there will be in your seam allowance when we stitch them all together later. So now I'm going to do the white squares onto all the rest of the rectangles and trim them, and then we'll head over to the ironing board. Okay, so now we are at the ironing board, and we're just going to press these open to look just like that. Make a rectangle out of two, three triangles. Just a quick, with a hot iron, and there we go. There's one. So now we've got them all ironed out, and now I'm going to set them out how I want to see them stitch, kind of setting out colors a little bit. Yeah, so we don't have like two of the same right next to each other, considering I've got two reds here and two blues as well. Yeah, so I'm going to move them around and see what looks good. Well, that, I think that looks pretty good to me. Colors are kind of spursed out. So, first what we're going to do um, is we're going to stitch these two together. So, we'll take this one, flip it over, and then stitch across the top there. And then we'll keep adding them to the bottom as we go. So, we'll be back in a minute when I've got two rows. Okay, so we have stitched the triangle rows together. Um, we got these four here and then we got the four here. And then you match up the seams on the side and you stitch it together all along. So you've got two rows of four and this is the crops block or furrows block. I'm sorry, furrows block. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have fun making the furrows block and please join us next time.